did the kids know that you're here? Nope. Didn't you didn't tell, tell them, no. You didn't tell anybody. Keep your mouth shut until we see how well you do. See how we do. You're going to do very well. I know That's I will. All right, let's see the money in round one. Questions away from a million. Old sayings is your category. Meaning, be prepared. The old saying, keep your powder dry, refers to what kind of powder? Baby powder, powdered sugar, baking powder, gunpowder. I'm going to go with D, gunpowder, final answer. Absolutely right. Okay, we have 100 so far. $3,000, Okay. Better? away from a million, all three lifelines still very much in play. High profile pairs is the category. In 2010, screen star Penelope Cruz married what fellow Academy Award winner? Adrian Brody, Benicio Del Toro, Daniel Day-Lewis, Javier Bardem. I'm going to ask the audience. Audience, do need your help. On your keypads, vote now. I will go with D. Javier Bardem. Final answer. Yeah, How much money is behind this Canada from my house. Oh, it's, it's sort of like seeing Russia for someone else's home. Yeah. Like someone else. Like someone else. Okay. Similarities in there. <laughs> I understand that you didn't know your name, your real first name, until you were in kindergarten. How was that possible? What happened? Uh, all my life, I was Duke. Duke, 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 Duke. On my shoes, in my lunchbox, on my underwear elastic. I get to school, they say we're looking for Richard Szymanski, and I was little confused. I'm Duke Szymanski. They're like, no, kid, you're Richard. So where'd the Duke come from? Uh, I was told that it's my mom's dad. He was, his name wasn't Duke, but he was very stylish. He was a man about town. Oh. Dressed, acted like a Duke. And so when they saw little me, they said he's, he's Duke. Okay, so, well, I like the Duke. Yeah. You are the Duke. You're the Thank Duke you. here. Actually, you're playing more like a king than a Duke right now. You got $18,100, 11 away from the million. You've only used one life one. No problem there. You ready to keep playing? I am. All right, let's go. Next time, won't you sing with me is commonly the final lyric in a familiar song used to teach children what? The alphabet, days of the week, the 50 states, multiplication tables. I'm going to go with A, the alphabet, the final answer. Very nice. big money on the board that could be in your bank. One last quip. On his deathbed, what famous wit remarked, my wallpaper and I are fighting a duel to the death. One or the other of us has to go. Mark Twain, Groucho Marx, Noel Coward, Oscar Wilde. I'm looking at this. There are two people that jumped out. One was Mark Twain, one was Oscar Wilde, before I saw any choices. I'm not about to risk this one. It's probably a high payoff, but I'm going to, I would like to jump this question. Question is out of play. You don't have to answer it. What is the answer? D, Oscar Wilde. Yeah, Oscar Wilde. All right. Let's see what you just jumped over to get one question closer to the million. This is true. If you'd said 
Mark Twain, boom, you're gone. So be happy. You're one step closer to the million than nine. Twenty-five thousand one hundred. Nine away from the million. TV towns is the question. A fictional show set in a real city. Glee follows the lives of high schoolers in the city of Lima in what U.S. state? New Hampshire, Ohio, Georgia, New Mexico. Uh, this is another one that I do not know. Uh, fictional thing. You know, I'm going to have to jump this one as well. Okay. So that's my final answer, jumping. All right. The question is out of play now. Let's see the answer. Ohio. Lima, Ohio is the answer. Let's see what you just jumped over. Ah. Awesome. Awesome. I accept. I accept. <laughs> you accept. All right. You're now just eight questions away from winning one million dollars. Fruity goodness is the category. Walter and Cordelia Knott, founders of Knott's Berry Farm, introduced what berry to the world in the 1930s? Gooseberry, boysenberry, huckleberry, elderberry. I know it's not the elderberry, and I know it's not the huckleberry. You don't have to guess if you don't want to. You can walk with 12,550 if you decide to do that. If you guess and you're right, this one could be worth 25,000 for all you know. Guess and you're wrong. Yeah, thanks. Richard. <laughs> B boys and very final answer. $25,600, and hey, one question closer to the million, now just seven away from all the money. Sounds of science is the category. King of night vision, king of insight, is a lyric in an Indigo Girls song titled what? Galileo, Pavlov, Pasteur, Newton. I'm at what? You you have $25,600. If you, yeah, if you, if you miss this, you lose your bank, you know that. But if you get this right, you're one question closer to round two, and this one could be worth $25,000. It's up to you. Yep. I'm going to say A Galileo final answer. Canada from his window of his home oh, yeah. and brought along his wife Tracy. Nice to see you, Tracy. It's a little nerve-wracking to be the companion here. And I happen to know that you guys eloped when yes. you got married. You yes. just didn't let anybody know. So you're you're playing here for really a, a honeymoon among a other things. A right? honeymoon that I owe her. I owe Aww. her big time. Aww. Uh, he was kind of hurried. We wound up getting married on uh, Saturday morning at 7 a.m. on a lake by us. And putting the pictures on Facebook. Oh, so. And then people found out, like my dad. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, hey, I got married. <laughs> I was going to tell you when we were planning it, but we decided to do this. All right. So that was for us, and I still owe her something there. So that's first and foremost. Okay, well, they're going to find out that you're a millionaire the same way. You haven't told them until it happens, so there you go. Easier. So you do all right. All right, Duke, looking to get that honeymoon in. You've got $30,600, six away from a million, two away from owning that bank. Okay, and that 25000 is still up there available. It's behind one of the next questions. Are you ready to play? I am. Let's play. What classic film's premiere celebration in Atlanta, Georgia, featured a choir that included a 10-year-old Martin Luther King Jr.? Citizen Kane, Miracle on 34th Street, Gone with the Wind, Casablanca. Well, I'm um, looking at this. Uh, Citizen Kane, I can't think of any children singing parts. 
Miracle on 34th Street. There's a lot of children singing parts. They might premiere it in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not sure why. Gone with the Wind has Tara's theme and a bunch of other vocal with chorus. Not so much of Casablanca. I'm going to have to go with C, Gone with the Wind, final answer. Let's hope there's 25,000 behind it because that is the right answer. You made it to the final question of round one. We know it is valued at $2,000. Okay. You okay? Let's do this. Let's do this. Here's the question. The Federal Urdu University of Arts, Science, and Technology has a campus in what world capital? Bangkok, Stockholm, Islamabad, Budapest. C, Islamabad, final answer. You are done with round one, sir. $7,600. Congratulations. You are now in round two. Your next question will be for $100,000. It is time to play Classic Notre Dame. Right now, as I said, you have a total of $57,600. Here is your $100,000 question. In the metric system, which of these measurements is equivalent to a metric ton? Megagram, gigagram, teragram, zetagram. So, metric is base 10. I know this is my birthday, it's 1010. It's celebrated around the world's metric day. The gram, there's a thousand kilograms to, I'm oh, sorry, there's a thousand grams to a kilogram, so that's three. Um, a metric ton, I'm not sure what that.